Let's get ready to rumble. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in the right corner of the ring, we have Dr. Eddie. Dr. Eddie, reigning world champion for three years straight. And here we go. Let's give him a round of applause. And reigning in the left corner, we have Mr. Disease. Mr. Disease is always out there lurking and scheming. Hide your wife, hide your kids, hide everybody. Let's give a round of applause for Mr. Disease. Ooh. What else is like a punch in the gut? Ooh! Peptic ulcer disease. Today we'll be discussing peptic ulcer disease, a common gastrointestinal disorder that affects a significant portion of the population. Understanding peptic ulcer disease is crucial for healthcare professionals as it encompasses a range of issues from diagnosis to management and prevention. Peptic ulcer disease refers to the formation of ulcers in the lining of the stomach or the first part of the small intestine, the duodenum. It's a prevalent condition worldwide and is a major contributor to morbidity and healthcare utilization. The pathogenesis of peptic ulcers is essentially an imbalance between mucosal defensive factors and aggressive factors. The primary aggressive factors are gastric acid and pepsin, along with helicobacter pylori infection and NSAIDs. Other factors include smoking, alcohol, and stress. But how do patients present with peptic ulcer disease? Patients with peptic ulcer disease often present with epigastric pain which is classically described as a burning or gnawing sensation. The pain may be relieved by food or antacids in duodenal ulcers or worsened in gastric ulcers. Other symptoms include bloating, early satiety, and less commonly nausea and vomiting. Serious complications of peptic ulcer disease include bleeding, perforation, and gastric outlet obstruction. Bleeding presents as hematemesis, or melana, while perforation leads to acute peritonitis, a surgical emergency. Gastric outlet obstruction presents with vomiting and weight loss. But how do we diagnose peptic ulcer disease? The diagnosis is typically confirmed through upper gastrointestinal endoscopy, which allows direct visualization of the ulcer and biopsy for H. pylori. Other diagnostic methods include barium studies and non-invasive tests for H. pylori, such as urea breath tests or stool antigen tests and serology. Now, the management of peptic ulcer disease includes the eradication of H. pylori with a combination of antibiotics and proton pump inhibitors, and the elimination of future NSAID usage. Proton pump inhibitors are also used as monotherapy in NSAID-induced ulcers. Lifestyle modifications such as smoking cessation, and avoidance of NSAIDs and alcohol are also advised. Now, H. pylori eradication is a cornerstone in the management of peptic ulcer disease. The typical regimen includes a PPI and two antibiotics, usually clarithromycin and amoxicillin or metronidazole for 10 to 14 days. Follow-up testing for eradication is important, especially in cases of complicated ulcers. Now, surgical intervention is considered in refractory cases, 
or when complications such as perforation or uncontrolled bleeding occur. Procedures may include vagotomy, antrectomy, or ulcer excision. But how are we going to prevent peptic ulcers to even begin with? Preventive strategies focus on reducing the use of NSAIDs and managing risk factors such as smoking and alcohol consumption. Patient education is key in the successful management of peptic ulcer disease, particularly regarding medication adherence and lifestyle modifications. So, peptic ulcer disease remains a significant health concern globally. Its management requires a comprehensive approach, including accurate diagnoses, effective treatment of H. pylori, appropriate use of anti-secretory therapy, and addressing modifiable risk factors. So the next time you have a patient with some epigastric pain, they might not have been punched in the gut in a boxing match. They actually might have some peptic ulcer disease. But you'll catch that, because you're a star. You might even say, you could be the next diagnostic world champion. (laughs) Settle down, settle down. As always, keep your head up. You're doing great. You're better than what you were yesterday. That's a lot. Learn something new today. You're going to be a great doc. Sometimes you just got to hear that.